Alright. I feel like last time I did a lot of nothing. Although I guess I did finally beat the bombs. So. Something happened. Something did indeed occur. Now we can see what's through here. And if this is actually where we're supposed to go or not. It'd be very funny if I did all this and then they're like, Oh, you were actually supposed to go to the uh, phone coast. Don't, don't come through here. Actually go away would be a very good response. I did look up some stuff, though, about his, like, recoverability in particular, because I was like, wow, that seems like a kind of hard fight. I wonder, you know, was there just stuff that I wasn't doing right? Um, and I think he had more status ailment weaknesses than I had realized, including one for something called disease, which I don't think I've encountered yet, as far as I know. This KHP sounds like a lot. Let's find out. What up? Are we just gonna get cooked by this thing? No, not if we block it. Got him, GG. Dude, block is so good. I guess later on there's monsters that can ignore your blocks, and then you're kind of uh, up a creek. Well, if I don't take damage, this enemy is easy, but I don't think that I'm usually going to do that. Um. But yeah, so disease basically sets current HP to max HP all the time. Um, and so it's kind of like a way to... What is this weird looking goblin thing? Right? Um, it's literally a goblin. Bosh is on something else. He just built different this evening. Well, this goblin is also kind of hard to, hard to touch. We're just all taking turns out here. Got him. Um, but yeah, so it basically stops healing from existing uh, as long as you have it on. Which seems useful, especially, I guess, with against bosses that like to heal each other more. Some sleepy chocobos. Hello, hello, hello. What was that noise? Why are you making noises? We just don't know. Okay, I'll go to this way. I'm fine going this way. I'll explore in this direction happily. That's a King, King Malvaro. My liege. Is this a dead end? Well, I guess it's got a treasure chest, but otherwise a dead end. A high potion? Okay. I looked it up, I don't know if I've actually hit any of the triggers for the Zodiac Spear to not exist, so maybe that's waiting for me somewhere on Phone Coast. It's exciting to think about. Yeah, these guys I've fought before, and they're no problem. So I think I am actually in like the intended part of the game currently. I think Phone Coast was indeed supposed to be beyond my my reach for now. Well, I made a decent money thing. And I like the idea, I like that you can get there. I think it's cool that it's something where they're just like, yeah, you can just roll up and, and fight this thing. It's hard, but you do it. Oh yeah, I should have, uh, Yvonne steal for stuff. Okay, well, not antidotes. I should have him steal good stuff. How about that? I guess I could put Poach back on too. Oh, this guy also probably has crappy stuff to Poach for. It's just a little tiny... Oh, this goes back to one of the places I've been earlier. I see. Thought I consulted the map before doing the full loop. Oh, here's a little Mog house that I didn't have to visit. Unusual. This goes where I'm going, yes? Yes. Well, I do want to get treasure there now. The list of things you can, you have to not touch in order to still get a... What do you call it? Um, or in order for the Zodiac Spear to be on deck is actually pretty generous, so... I was, I was pleased to see that. Now I feel less paranoid about opening random chests. 
I mean, I still feel annoyed that like 80% of the time I feel like I didn't need to take the time to go over and open them. Um, so that I don't love, but... Uh, you know. Can I interest you in a decoy by any chance so you stop punching Ash? It's not here enough. Oh yeah, apparently your combo chance goes up when you're low on L. I did not realize. Oh, Ash popping off Kiragas is probably part of what's not doing her favorites in some of these fights. Because she gets up and then immediately is like, oh, I better Kiraga myself. And then the enemy's like, hey, stop that. Stop healing for that much life. That's against the rules. Although I don't know this time. What a... What happened? Oh, and I can turn my poach back on. But yeah, I looked up. I finally looked up a couple of the guy things that I was curious about, just because I've been wondering for so long about how uh, an insect husk. Like, different weapons worked and what the differences were. A lot of it just comes down to, like, slight differences in attack speed, and then I think it's axes and hammers have much higher damage variance, but it usually just kind of comes out in the wash in terms of large numbers. So, it might be fun to pick up more axes and hammers then. Oh, is this, this is the, also the fun coast. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is where I think it was supposed to be because I've got to go through that dungeon in here. The, uh... I forget what they're calling it, but it's a, the one that the Moogle construction workers were talking about. Oh, it's more goblins. Oh, there's a lot of them, though. I don't like that. Why are there so many goblins? I guess it's time for Ash to pay me them. It does hurt a lot, but man, Bosch is in bad shape after that. Oh, and they did not enjoy that. They were like, hey, stop that. Do not hit us all with ice magic. We really don't like that. Uh oh, they really didn't like it. Okay, okay, let's just walk away. Yeah, three of those seems really, like, asking a lot. And ranged magic, or er, magic is not that long of range, so trying to pull them or pick them off like that seems dicey, to say the least. Does Vaughn know Kiragi? He definitely knows some more white magic. It's not. He doesn't appear though, which is quite handy in this case. Oh, she'd already fired the Kirog off on herself. I mean, they're also pretty cheap for her, so... Not the end of the world if she wants to spend her MP on it. But I also found out when I was doing this little bit of homework that guns don't care about your attack stats, so they're good on casters apparently, as like a secondary weapon. I mean, they don't buff your magic stat, which is annoying, but it's intriguing that you can just shoot things and deal damage that way. You're telling me this gun lets me damage opponents from range? Go on. Oh, there is Dahl still here. 
Hmm. Oh, and they remember Ash. They don't like her. Oh, I'm, I bet their aggro actually is preserved as well. That's messed up. Oh, they just have Fyra hanging out on deck? I gotta get out of here. I guess we'll be doing this for a couple rounds awkwardly. Since I forgot that they don't reset, so they're just gonna like hang out waiting for me. A bit awkward, I would say. Because, yeah, apparently also aggro is, like, a real, a very real thing. Uh, although its its durability is still very impressive to me. I thought leaving a screen would definitely reset my aggro, and they were like, no, 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 no. We know you. You can't fool us. I guess I might as well just pop off another Blizzara, though, while I have the chance. Oh, or not. They're like, we too have AoE magic. Gosh, that's so much damage. Guess we gotta hike all the way back to the save point? Seems mean. Maybe that'll let them reset, though. I guess I can bring Fran back into the party to pick up uh, Ash. I can go to get. I feel like if I can kill the one who's low on health, then like maybe there's a shot that we manage to get through the rest of them, or at least we can start kind of turning the corner in the fight. But I guess a lot of it's going to come down to: are they just going to start by doing AOE on me before I can do AOE on them? In which case, I'm in trouble. back at it. Oh no, the poach. It's gonna cost me. Oh, over a pebble? Help. I should have just run. I forgot that I had Poach back on, which I definitely do not want in a high-stakes environment like that. Alright, now I think we do just have to probably suck it up. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I can do kind of the same trick as last time. Oops, I want this the other way, though. I think Ash has enough MP now to basically barely scoot us through and heal everybody back up, and then hopefully that lets us finish off the last, uh, last two of them. Kira is going to get us most of the way back to health. Oh wow, way more than I was actually even giving it credit for. The 
they're both pretty much at the same HP. Alright, let me disable this gambit real quick so it doesn't once again cause me to waste a ton of turns. Yeah, they just kind of chew through people left unattended. Put my eye potions. Oh, because they also are combo injuries, so it's like. I guess I could have tried to put decoy on Bosch first. Oh, they have red fangs that they can attack with. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, yeah, because that can happen. That sucks. And we dance the dance once more. The only thing he knows how to do. To be fair, it's a good thing to know. If you only can know one thing, make it this. I'll use his last two MP to get Ash back up to his last little blip of MP. What a goofball looking casting buzz. Such a dandy. I consume it to dandy. How do I stop her from doing a thing? deal with Vaughn's... Oh, no, I can't even deal with this much less exciting Kiraga, or Kira. I think. Need more MP first. Not that useful now. Yeah, it's gonna be like the same as a cure to two people. Huh? Got some work done. Now I feel like I'm just in too deep. What was that? What did they do to me? Time for... Time for this. I forgot what ninjas are supposed to be good at. Or the ninja swords are on there. I did notice something, I was like, oh yeah, this is kind of their, their little niche. There's more right up there? Good lord. Yeah, I feel like their ability to just like put immediate pressure on seems really tough. Alright, now now for sure we gotta go to the save point. This is no longer negotiable. We're out of everything. I guess I can raise though, right? Yeah, and that gives me Pinellas and people to get everybody else back up with. But yeah, I thought that I had pretty modern gear since I was 
specifically doing that to uh, fight the bomb with, but it seems like those uh, those goblins just do not care whatsoever. And they are simply unmoved by the armor that I have attempted to acquire. I guess, uh, what do you call it? Ash is out of MP, so she's not gonna be that useful to me. Oh yeah, so Thief Gloves can potentially use still twist. That was a weird thing I found out about both the Thieves Gloves and the, uh, they called uh, the books, the codes, not codexes. Uh, yeah, these guys on their own seem like tough but manageable. But when there's three of them, that gets ugly real fast. Popping off. Well, I guess I'm actually like kind of denying myself a bunch of value by having everybody have cure macros. Because if you're low on health, you actually want to attack. I don't know if there's a way to do that for like people in the party who aren't me, basically. Like ally. So this is like ally HP 30%. But I wish it was like ally who is not me <laughs> is at 30%. Because I do feel like a lot of the times when I would be getting really big combo potential, like I could pop off and try to turn a fight around, I end up just spamming heals because of the gambit setup. Um, which does not seem ideal. Oh, and this just goes to the, the bomb fight area. I assume this will respawn all the goblins over there, but then maybe I can try to like fight them one at a time or something with a gun or ranged magic or something like that. So that I'm not contending with just three of them. Because yeah, like three of them attacking all at once can potentially just about one shot most of the people in my party. Um, which is concerning. It does not feel like a thing that I want to be possible. Because, yeah, they do, like, around 500 damage. I think more if they use items to uh, do AoE damage, because that's the other thing. Like, the fact that they can get access to stuff like Fyra and Thandara uh, really messes me up. That's a lot of damage that I have to contend with. Just when I think I'm going the right direction. I mean, I do think I'm actually going the right direction. I think this is just like a weird cluster of guys who's giving me specific trouble more so than anything else. I guess I can blind them too, actually, speaking of which, because I think they're just all physical attacks except for their items. Although blind is only a 50% accuracy reduction, which seemed crazy to me. And it seemed correct because I've noticed that like people who are blinded don't actually seem that just like out of it. Um, so it does kind of track with what I've observed, but it just seems strange to me. Um, kind of comparatively. Yeah, I think ninja swords are one of the like they're good at comboing weapons, and they're slightly fast. They're kind of, like, slightly crummy... Um... What do you call it? They're, they're, yeah, they're similar to daggers in that regard. Yeah, 
I wonder if I want to have here be slightly more manual. Especially because of how inefficient your one is now. So it does kind of feel like I would just so much rather have manual healing because I think Kiraga is a little bit too much responsibility for a gambit given my current MP amounts. Um, oh, I have the death the death throws combo going on. go more manual on healing. Oh, do I have enemy statuses? As a, uh... As a gambit? Because I wonder if I could make Ash into, like, some kind of crazy status debuffer. Uh... So I have things to do if they do have oil on them, but I don't have something that's like, if they don't have oil, put oil on them. Because that'd be nice if I had a way to just be like, hey, if something isn't blind, make it blind. But I guess we can do that now. Oh, this guy's got haste. Hold up. Maybe that was part of why they were screwing up so bad. I didn't realize that they just out of nowhere had haste going on. Spell up here, yeah. Oh yeah, she has to live in order for this to be effective. I wish I had like an AoE blind, honestly. Yeah, they do just love to throw haste onto themselves. Yeah, and that's a big problem. Ooh, I lived. Yeah, if they're if they're just randomly hasted up, that seems extremely hard to deal with. I guess it's easy enough that I can like interrupt my own actions with healing that maybe I don't need stuff like this. Maybe if not. Yeah, if they have haste, it just feels like they... It's hard to get that off of them in time. Oh, Kiraga is still pretty expensive, though. It's like four Kiras in terms of cost, but I don't think it's quite that in terms of actual healing throughput. 
I mean, you're paying for the speed in a lot of cases, right? You just get healed up instantly in combat, but out of combat, I think it's fine to just uh, slowly whittle your way up with normal cures. So yeah, how do I get haste off these things? I guess can I slow them? Oh wait, hang on. I messed up already. I want decoy on. Um, Bosh before anything else. Now time to die because I forgot that I turned off my... Uh, my healing um, gambits. I'll just dump in that get rid of haste. Yeah. Okay, so it does, which is good. I just high potion myself, that'll give me enough wiggle room. Yeah, they could really pile it on. I mean, even getting through him in short order is pretty wild to me. Okay, I already did dispel that guy. Our work here is done. Because, yeah, even decoyed up, uh, Bosch just got flattened. And unfortunately, I was using Ash to do stuff, which meant that I did not have her as, like, a good curing battery either. I needed to dispel with her because dispel is pretty high level white magic. Well, maybe I can learn it on other people now. Good question. That just seems like another very useful thing to be able to do. Oh, yeah, so it's not that unthinkable. And it, actually, that would give me Kiraga too, which seems really useful to have. Yeah. I get that on Bosch as well, for that matter. Yeah. Those both seem like very handy things to have in the back pocket. Getting him all the way to decoy seems a little tough. Oh, confused would be good. I guess especially in groups. Normally I'm fighting single enemies, so... Or I have been until recently. Now that seems like one of the ways they're scaling difficulty in kind of an interesting way. Like, well, what if you had to deal with a bunch of guys? Then what? I think if I cure and then do like a round of cures on everybody, maybe a Bosch Kiraga himself. Dragavon, rather. And then decoy Bosch up, and hopefully that means we're set up for success. Okay, so none of them actually did get blinded, or the blind wore off, which would make sense.
Oh, but now she's out of MP, so she can't blind the last guy. Well, hopefully just having two of them blinded will be enough to kind of get us there. It does feel like it's making a pretty noticeable difference in terms of their damage throughput. Probably should have Phoenix down instead. Still have to rearrange my items. Things are in such weird places. Yeah, only being able to like kill one of these things at a time while I have to spend my entire like MP bar just is so brutal. Cause yeah, I don't know, like, especially if they've got haste on and they all come after me at once, like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing, other than maybe just leg it, if I'm like, well, just don't be there. Because, yeah, they've got enough HP, I can't really just... Burst them down with AoE, I don't think. And they just do a lot of damage. Hmm. I guess I'll just try running past them and see if this is a, an aberration in terms of encounter difficulty or if it's just the, the way things are now. this away from allies as much as I can, but I can only do so much at the end of the day. Uh, not having MP discounts is rough. It's only noticeable for lower level spells that you're getting like a, slight, a good discount, but then I feel like when you get to higher level stuff is when it like even more starts to come out. I guess I could go sell stuff too. I don't think I've got that much loot, but it does feel like I am once again on the back foot of the economy. Yeah, I assume these husks are probably good. And the molting is also probably good, but everything else is kind of extremely whatever. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but it does feel like I- I mean, just in general, I feel like I'm behind the curve of the game across, like, a bunch of different kind of axes. Um, and I'm not sure, like, when or how that happened. It just felt like I slipped and then I was like, oh, now I just can't keep up with a bunch of enemies. I mean, even in the forest, it felt like I was doing fine. Mostly it's like Phone Coast and then this other section of the Salika Wood that are like, or I guess it's the, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, let's see if I can buy a good gear on the Phone Coast. If maybe that will help get me through some of these dicey parts. Um, although yeah, I don't really have money. I guess I can try to farm here now that I've got more gear. Because I think I can make pretty good money here.
Oh, this didn't even sound for much. The mob were for it, put in the good work. And the insect task was good at least. But yeah, this probably doesn't really get me anywhere. Broadly speaking. Cause yeah, I mean I can get like a bit of defense off of these, but not so much that it feels like I would it would just make the the whole difference up of what I'm looking at. I do like that there's a bunch of shields that have magic resist. That's a cool thing to have as your like little sub way of getting elemental resistances. Yeah, something like this seems like it'd be nice once I get the licenses. Um, Cause yeah, otherwise I'm like, uh, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, I guess I can explore to the east since I haven't been out there. See what areas this connects into and what messed up stuff is awaiting me in them. Oh, and I should save, probably? Uh, I can probably limp back to camp. It is nice that... Oh, the, I mean, it's frustrating in some ways, like if you're in a boss battle where it's like, I can't retreat, I just have to take this. Uh, but it's nice in random encounters that basically it's hard to game over in this, it feels like, unless you get really, really far in over your head. Like, a lot of stuff you can just kind of walk away from, basically, at the end of the day, which is nice. PC out here. Nifty. Well, I guess I can put my coach back on for now. Surely this will not come back to haunt me. Surely not. That probably just goes up into the sort of parallel adjoining area. No, oh, the poach race is on. Quality pelts, I think, are pretty good money. Ironic that we are poaching wolves for pelts. It's really the classic use of the, uh, the ability. Where did Ash go? Oh, she's like way behind because of the cure delay, I guess. I guess the steel's. Stealing from these doesn't seem particularly efficient. Yeah, Kiraga looks like he's got a long wind down. Flanked by that thing, I guess.
Okay, there's a big splash. I can try to steal from this thing too. Who knows what kind of goodies it might have. Grotto's tier, that sounds... That sounds valuable. Thon scale. This all sounds useful. Great stuff, everybody. Sleepy boy. We shan't disturb him. That is one thing that's nice, is like, doing manual healing means Ash doesn't cure Aga herself there for a bunch of wasted value. Oh, it's just dead ends. Okay, fine. I guess I should be looking out for a chest that potentially has a freaking Zodiac Spear in it. It's an entire freaking Zodiac Spear. Is it one of these? I don't remember. Oh, maybe this is, yeah, this whole area is just a dead end, I see. I think this is one of the ones that has the spear in it, but I don't know which one. The great washed up masses of uh, treasure chests. We can just equip a bunch of ranged weapons and call it a day. Does he have any ranged weapons? No. Right, I gotta get the, uh... The gun license for Ash. Oh, she really still needs that bonus HP. I think she can afford it now, right? Yes. Okay. That is truly something good. It's the best gun I have, actually. I mean, I haven't really been keeping up with them, so... It would surprise me if the answer is not good. Yeah, 18. But it, I think it ignores defense and it doesn't take strength into account, so... Kinda got a lot going on for it in that regard. I do like to give princesses guns, though. That's a very appealing fantasy for me. Oh, she's short one license point. Ooh, I guess she's got magic. All right, and then does Bosch have enough to get some kind of ring weapon, some manner of bow, perhaps? The longbow. I think it is a longbow. But we don't have one, so it's impossible to say it, truly. Oh, crossbow's even better. Nice. Where's the license for that, even? Where am I getting this ability from? It's kind of in an awkward spot, right? It's like way up here. Yeah. I mean, it's not, like, horrifically out of the way, but it's not really in Bosch's current wheelhouse, you know? I mean, Ghosh is nice, though, because I think it gives you extra block. Uh, I guess we'll just have... Then hold it down while Bosch kind of tries to look useful.
Somehow Bonish has managed to hold aggro. Seems improbable, but acceptable. This will help. Probably worth doing Blizzard just for the bonus damage. Well, and she didn't think to succeed in doing more damage, but at what cost? He doesn't want to open all these 200 guild treasure chests. Oh, I feel like that missing slot might be where the spear is supposed to be if you didn't screw up. This guy doesn't deal damage to you. Oh, that slows that sucks so bad. I guess we should kill the thing that's easiest to kill for a team. the heal. Oh, it's because she's slowed, of course. I forgot. I guess it means I should have Vaughn do the honors on the raise and then also hit the Kiraga afterwards. I guess maybe a cure is in order here. Screen. That's the good news is we can go back to our regularly scheduled weaponry. She just got blasted. The power spin seems extremely weird. Yeah, I think we did mess up the, uh... The Zodiac Spear somehow. Oh boy, a chance to use an antidote. Don't mind if I do. I guess we got a lot of gill anyway. Yeah, that spin attack doing a bunch of damage in AoE and then also randomly slowing people and hosing them seems not great. I don't love it. It's 
happening again. The good news is now I can just walk back to camp, sell a bunch of stuff, and kill up. And then I'll try the northeast way out next time. Another one of these guys. Alright, I'm over. Oh, these things just respawn over time. Interesting. Still fighting us? A lot of time, I guess, will be spent slowly grinding up to parody. Well, this is making blind much more attractive since there's a lot of... It helps uh, softly tone down the numbers disadvantage. Combo stopped right in time for them to get into critical HQ's poach. about time for break anyway. Yeah, having a back back of the pocket set of ranged attacks seems like just a handy best practice in general. Oh, I got a Pisces gem. I didn't even notice that. Ooh, man. Yeah. Shaking down those, uh, fish for poaching goods. Definitely putting in the good work. Called Burning Bow and doesn't have fire attack. Come on. Come on, guy. Oh, interesting. The zero XP strat. Oh, Chrono's tier is a stop room remover. Got it. And with the Uno reverse. Well, I assume that that works on allies, too, right? So I feel like you can target most stuff to allies. But that seems a rather degenerative possible, or so. 
Maybe there's some things they really don't want you to... Or, like, they truly... Are, like, don't... Well, I mean, I, I imagine, like, Kieran stuff is probably worded in a way that you'd think... Um... Magic in my inventory, right? Yeah, to one ally, so... I kind of feel like you could just put reverse onto a friend and be like, well, does this enemy have healing abilities? No. Get wrecked. Multiscale. Oh, it slows on hit? That seems... quite good. Traitors, though. Yeah, I kind of feel like... Uh, knife and... shield might be nice for Vaughn. There's an Oracle Alchemist Jerk in my license board. Oh, I got no points anyway, but still. For future reference. And where are the rest of the daggers? What? What's all this then? So here's daggers five. Three. Hey, where are they? <laughs> Actually. Done doodle. Like out here or something? Nope. That's the quickening. I feel like... What's going on over here? Oh, it's all the way up here. I guess it's pretty close to Vaughn, actually. Yeah, I just gotta go up a couple. It's quite a few LP, but it's not totally insurmountable, I feel like. Uh, do we know where the hammerhead lives? Down there. Yes, yeah, so we could like go that way. Kind of expensive, but we can get in there. I have Fran's been Fran's been wearing the uh, double LP accessory, right? Just been cleaning up. Now, do I have any other magic? She hasn't. Not ready to use it. Oh, yeah. the most exciting for uh, an aspiring wizard. Yeah, it is just a battle or angle. A 
that they're figuring out. Yeah, so she's hit most of the HP ups. Uh, you can get gun. Where's guns three actually? All the way up here. So it's a ways out, but. Something for Ash to work on in the background, I guess. Speaking of which, though. A rod of faith. Hello's popping off too. Oh yeah, I think I'd still need licenses to do all of the stuff I would want anyway. Cause yeah, like I could get the Adam Infest, I guess, but feels like it'll be pretty quickly outclassed by this, and it's not that much more. So I might as well just go up the chain. I didn't go up the coast, speaking of going up. Oh, and I also forgot that I was going to take a break, but I got sucked into the shop and license management, so I will do that now.
All right. Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to go see what the northeast place was, if this connects to anything. I guess I can also just go straight north. Oh, I can only go straight north. Northeast is where I went earlier. I see, I see. With the conspicuous zodiac spear-shaped hole in the uh, treasure chests. I feel like I opened so few treasure chests and somehow I managed to hit like one of the four landmine chests that's like, oh, you can't get this anymore. So I was like, ah, oh, they're not that useful and like maybe one of them will screw me out of the zodiac spear, but then eventually I would cave. And I just picked the wrong time to do it. Oh, these things have crappy steel, right? Oh, no, I will never know. Quality felt good, though. It's quality. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the eye drops. Or eye droppers. So obsessed with Juan. Because he's trying to reach into their pockets. Stealing their eye drops. They're very sensitive about that. They they need those eye drops. Their eyes get very dry otherwise, and then they're cranky all day. What is that T-Rex looking thing? Archaeosaur. I'll fight one of those later. Why not? It looks fun. Bagoli. Yeah, these are bundles of feathers enjoyers as well. We have attracted the Archaeosaur. Time to get aggro. Fuck this twice. this thing. It was useful enough fight that might go on for a while. Oh, Vaughn popping off. I don't think the poison took, but I think blinding it basically did all the work I needed it to. Tanned Tyrant Hide. I don't know why that sounds kind of funny to me. putting these things within an inch of their life with their attacks, but fortunately not quite killing them. Shoutouts to staffs. And go out there and fight some bagolis. Some big old bagolis. Oh yeah, I need to... 
equipped the crossbow. And I guess a gun. Kiraga sucks. The goal is just spectators. Yeah, kamikaze thing, that's right. That's the real weird deal going on there. On a equipment. They got the bent staff, coach. Are you guys are bad profit? Four hundred gil, straight up. You don't even have to sell it. It's already taken care of for you. I'm gonna actually kill this one. Oh, we got him. We won. Oh yeah, so this is the way down to that place. Okay. This is also dead end. Okay. So this is just like a weird little sidetrack, basically. It's like you can come here and make a lot of money and potentially get your butt kicked by a bunch of wolves. That's that's what's going on out here. For those wondering. And get the Zodiac Spear. If you didn't mess it up earlier. Which I am proud to say I did. Oh wait, does this go up? It does, okay. What am I talking about? Does this also go to the Deadlands in a different way? No. I guess it just didn't show up because I hadn't explored the little angle of it yet. Okay. I'm gonna just keep fighting stuff. I feel like I've gotten to a comfortable rhythm here. I don't want to fight freaking three goblins with haste. Smelling salts, though. 
I'm, uh, I'm confused as people. Oh, we probably have a Suna now, right? She's a great threat, just wanging people with the staff, but I would simply prefer not to have to deal with it. So quality. Just wait until the bird gets bored and uh, uses Kamikaze. I guess it probably needs to be a lower HP for that to happen. a lot of my uh, MP budget though. Alright, I don't feel like re-equipping just to fight this thing and then unequipping to go fight this other thing. I'm just gonna keep walking. Don't worry about it. Holy smokes. Okay. This proves to be a mistake. This thing is fast! See, this is how I should have solved the goblins' problem. Just don't deal with them. Just walk away. You can leave. Oh, I don't even need to heal myself. The random deer is out there. Cheetah Uplands. Balfenheim. How is there just so much of this world all over the place? Why is there so much of it? I do think I'm supposed to go through the Deadlands, honestly, but... Maybe I'm finding some bizarro alternate route through the game? Who knows? Cause yeah, I think I'm supposed to go through the like big dungeon in the Deadlands, and that's my my next goal. Get the blue cap. Go go go. The storm stone, not even storm magicite. A storm crystal from yeah. <laughs> I 
Unless the stone is more valuable than it. So what have I been getting? One player. Oh, these might defy poach, unfortunately. Yeah. Once again, the poach gambit goes onto the shelf. Because we've encountered enemies that will heal themselves. A lot of these cats out here, I tell you what. Remove this dude from the equation. Don't worry, I'll just combo off on that guy. Silenced anyway. She's like, well, whatever. I was gonna say, I've got. Uh, I've got Vox on other people, so I could have dealt with that, but then I didn't need to because the silence just did not connect. Solving the problem at its source. Spear, you punk. An amphora unlocks his wine. Calling it an amphora is a really nice flex. I appreciate that from the developers. But you can chain these corals to like high L, that's cool. Pelts as well. Bonus snakes. Descriptive enemy titles. Yeah. What do they what do they got in their pockets though? If a snake wore pants, where would it keep its wallet? They got quality hides. Bad, not bad. I do not want to fight a big flying dragon thing though, I'll tell you that. Bell Wyvern? No, thank you. Oh, but it wants to fight me. And it's not very fun to fight. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, yeah, especially not with that going on. Among other things. So to the east is like a pirate town or something? A little bit here? Is the Sunak your sap? Well, let's find out. Vote now with your phones. Nice. Pleased to report that it does.
Manual poaching action engage. More quality hides. Heck yes. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, somewhere to the east, I guess, is uh, Freedom Town. I'm down for him. Who am I to turn down a bit of freedom? What is so stompy over there? It's a crocodile. I got fire magic in it. Neutral? No. These things have hate in their hearts. I want to reflect on their skins. It's really trying some wild stuff, and none of it's working, which is interesting. Oh, I should have stolen from it. Yes. Blood wool. What a fake sounding thing. I don't think that regen is effective in these sorts of short fights. Albeit an intriguing attempt. She could probably drop a Kiragon Vaughn these days. Oh, what's up with this guy? And Bill? Genuous, wow. stuff going on here. What could it mean? I guess we can try to do that thing that guy asked us about. 
that's not a real hunt, apparently. I think even the game is like, this build sucks so bad, we're not putting it in the primary. It doesn't count. It's not real. The clan will probably be mad at you because you did it. They will think less of you as a hunter. I guess, yeah, because I got cutscenes in the phone code, so I was supposed to be going through there. I guess the, uh... The Deadlands dungeon is just another... Kind of for fun thing you can do if you want. Ugh. Okay. More, more Malboros. A lot of Malboro royalty going around out here. The Over King. This guy's even cooler than a king. Unfortunately, Silence was not on the list, so. Asuna, it is. I guess I can use that to get rid of slow. And then some. I don't have haste yet. I thought I saw it in the store. Maybe I just didn't buy it. Adamant hat. I am quite adamant about this hat. I think even slow job time to get this Kirag off in time. Oh, but you got put to sleep. No! Really an unfortunate time for, uh... that to happen. The world's slowest race. Combo factor. It was at low life. Popping off. Did it again. I don't feel like waiting for the raise, so I will just raise slightly faster with the person who's not slowed. It's a lot of marbles. Let me define it. Drifting in this direction, and this thing has like a cone attack I would wish to not hit my allies with.
They're both taking damage. Somewhat evenly, so... I don't know if I'm quite as efficient as I would like to be. Only using Kira on two people. Maybe Kira will get better in those circumstances. I assume the Empire is somewhere up in this corner. I gotta keep the chain rolling. The dim foot slow and very annoying. That doesn't have a kind of whippy Karaga. Well, okay, thank goodness he has a ton of health. There's a lot of weird stuff that's very undocumented in this game, because I was just realizing, like, or just remembering one of the things that I read in some of the, uh, like, just random mechanics guides was like, oh, you have, uh, you get, like, less chain points if you're picking up loot. So if you want to chain, then you should be leaving loot on the ground. Seems very strange. Yeah, this whole place seems like there's a lot of chain potential in general. Snake. I don't want any trouble. Cat, I also don't want any trouble. I'm just here for the chains. You must understand. I think I'm out of Malboros to fight, unfortunately, so the chains may be doomed. I guess we can just run for it. Leg it. There's no more Malboros left. Well, let's get out of here. Is kind of down to a curl angle now. Let's go, you weird mind flare cats. Snakes down there. It may be snakes. Yeah. 
might be cooked. Only one has blocks. Fine. I got Vaughn right before he could use box. Alright. Gotta do it yourself sometimes. Oh, I have a bajillion echo orbs. Okay, well, that's good. That's good news. I said Vaughn is really making a run for it here, which is great for him. Silence again. Holy. They did not like that. All the parries are just coming through in the clutch. thing is actually just going crazy with it. Okay. The like seventh attack against it lands. Jump the gun. And I kind of figured a lot of these guys would be trouble. I guess I didn't factor in silence though, in particular. So that's that's quite rude. In a very special way. Eventually get to the, the Empire. Finally getting taxed down along with my MP. Stop putting slow on me. Ray's putting people back at half health though is pretty pretty nutty. Complimentary. A pebble. Wait, is this the cave I was supposed to go to? I think it is. Well, what do you know?
That's a cutscene game. Hey, you sure this rabbit hole's really the way into Arcades? Better a hare unseen than a rat in a trap. Then again, if you'd prefer to go knocking on the front gates of the city, be my guest. But what about once we're inside? Won't the city watch find us? We'll do what we can to blend into the crowd. Our names may be notorious, but our faces are not far known. True, true. You're it's a, a princess, and we didn't even recognize you. Bosh. I noticed. <laughs> Damn. He's just complimenting the plan. What is this thing? What zombies? I can finally practice uh, healing to deal damage. So should have Vaughn cast it since he's got apparently a bit of an abundance of MP. We found the the way into Arcades. Good news. He's got a dark element weapon. Well, that's no good. It's, it's crossbow time. <laughs> Would quite like to save point down here, though. Oh yeah, Searching Cave is the uh, the place that guy was telling us about, so we've got a key to some sort of sealed area in there. Or in here, I guess. An annoying combination. Yeah. Oh, they call alarm clocks. Yeah. Point this at the enemies, but how long will I think the car right now? Oh, it went off right at the last second, though. And Bond will probably need to cast a raise of his own. Yeah, we're just kind of out of a gas here.
Going to secure you, you get uppity. Neutral frogs. Frogs that do not wish for any trouble to be given or taken. Just some frogs hanging out. Foe or vulnerable. That's cool. You can have specifically keyed gambits for enemy weaknesses. I dig that. Please don't count as a flying enemy. Doesn't look like it does. Let's go. Deal. Tragic. Yeah. Oh, so this is probably like the thing that guy was talking about, which is the boss fight that gets to that gets us into the into the city. Oh, it just gets us into like another part of the dungeon. The super dungeon. Oh, and it has a boss. That's also true. Oh, it's the, the veggie homies. I wish I had an AOE to spell, basically. Squad rolling out. Why do they run away? That poison is not messing around, though, I'll tell you what. Seems like an interesting exercise in them trying to mess with, uh, what do you call it? Sort of enemy behaviors and things like that. They're like, what if we just enemies that likes to run away from you a bunch? What then? Messed up my alarm clock or my Kiraga. Looks like fair. I'd rather be alive. Oh. for a uh, Kira. Bond does though.
Gotta cut off the head. That's my thing there. Holy smokes, what happened? I mean, I know we're kind of low, but like, I was not thinking time to just get mopped by that. They're coming in for another pass. Yeah, some of these seem like they just really slap. This is a very strange fight. Oh, and it's deep in here. Yeah, and we can't run, dang it. I just realized I hadn't saved in like an age because I'd basically saved since that last, since I found that guy who was like, go fight these things. Uh, so I'll probably just reset it, because I'm not winning this. Yeah, a lot of it feels like it's going to come down to if you can just snipe out the first one of them. And then much, much else will be decided on that. Oh, I fought a bunch of stuff too, and that's, that's rather annoying. Maybe I'll just call it there then. Since there's going to be a lot of rehashing. At least now I know that that cave triggers a fight right away. I was wondering if I could just open the door and then, like, not go through it right away. But, uh, apparently that's not the case. Um, I guess I can go try to find... I'll see how far back I was. I think it was like one or two screens, right? Because I went like up here. Maybe I'll just try to find the cave again and I'll go back and save. But I've got a lot of stuff to spend anyway, so. I might also just walk all the way back to the, uh. What do you call it? Oh, the hunter's encampment. So I can finally buy a bunch of that gear that I've been eyeballing earlier. Because I should also have a bunch of license points to spend. Oh yeah, this is the whole Malboro um, gauntlet that I went through. Bunch of Malboro for just pretty hard to turn down though to be honest. The, the warp or the teleport crystal is going to be in a. What do you call it? In that Freedom Town or whatever that the prison talked about. That port.
I don't remember how much farther past this. I think it was only like one or two screens past here that I got to the cave, so. Not the end of the world, but it is still rather annoying. Really slow, but it doesn't that's not even as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I was fully prepared for just like you will be raised in approximately three hours. Kings. A very good tradition. Go for it. I guess I could probably turn coaching back on too. Mostly just annoying because if I do end up fighting corals along the way, because I know that I came across like a big pack of them when I went on my way to the caves. That the fact they use Kuro when they get low is uh, very obnoxious for Boach. But I do want to stock up on Nalboro fruit while I've got a big farming opportunity here. This so I could go to here. Oh, or I'll just get cooked. You're in charge, Vaughn. Got speed. That Kiraga should go here. Raise. Got a little cheeky with Bosch's HP thing. That's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, this is the way back down to the spring, right? Yeah. And then the way to the, uh... The cave is up to the northeast. a little bit. Voice. I guess I'll try going the other direction too and just see what's over there. See if I can find the town. So I assume the town has shops and also a teleport crystal. Both of which I would like. Those are both appealing concepts to me at this time. At this juncture. but flying dragons are not an appealing concept to me at this juncture. I say no thank you to that. Oh, and a freaking entire pack of cats are coming after me. 
I don't want any of it. Zero, you hear me? None. It's actually surprisingly effective. I this would be a much worse strategy than it turned out to be. We'll see. If the town's not over here, then I'll just turn around and get to the save point. Oh yeah, I need to manually heal. That boss is pretty solid at taking the bonus. So I guess that is kind of what leads me to make ill-considered gambles with his livelihood. I'm like, I mean, it's Bosch. It's got heavy armor. What more could you want from him? He's got heavy armor, Michael. He's fine. That is a that's a tragic cura to throw out. Oh, I found another safe crystal. Oh, and a blocked uh, the block road. I like that one of the hunters just. Couldn't find him. Like, oh, yeah, we don't know where he's supposed to be. Presumably, this unlocks later on. But I guess that's a good point as I need to stop. Next time, I will try the cave. Or er, I might try the caves again. I probably need to go spend a bunch of money because I did really get destroyed by those guys. I also just need to figure out how to burst them down because it seems like a lot of it is like, can you do a bunch of range damage? to stop them from doing this, like, strange kiting dance that they have, so. All that and more we shall explore next time.